Hey guys, Bloomer here with a tutorial on how to play my favorite tank in Super Squad and possibly yours too, Fang. Today's video is just a basic tutorial to get you comfortable with the character with more in-depth guides coming in the future. The game is also still constantly being updated, so the numbers quoted may not be the exact same as when you're watching this, but the basic concept should remain the same. With that said, let's jump right into it. Fang is, as mentioned, a tank in the game of Super Squad. He's part of the military faction, which I believe is only related to the upcoming lore of the game. His primary fire comes from his shotgun, which does 72 damage per shot, with a 20 meter range. With a rate of fire at 1.4, he both fires faster and does a lot more damage than the other tanks, Skullcrusher or Glorgan. His abilities are Smoke Bomb and Fetch. Smoke Bomb both slows down the enemies caught in the blast, and as of the last patch, also buffs allies by 30% for 7 seconds, adding a really nice defensive use. With Fetch, Fang sends out his companion Trigger to charge in the direction sent and will latch onto the first enemy hit, dealing burst damage and then dragging the caught trooper back towards Fang, leaving them unable to move or shoot. Fang having a relatively high health pool makes him a great character to have near the front lines, as you'd expect from someone in the tank role. His ability to literally drag someone out of position towards the rest of your team makes him a high reward character when you land your ability. Of course, with high reward always comes a certain level of risk. If you miss, you may find yourself as a much less useful trooper. Caught by yourself and with very little ability to negate damage, you can be melted down by the enemy team really fast. If you miss with your fetch, the best thing you do is go back to playing defensively until you have another shot. Fang is a character that relies heavily on playing as a team. Just landing your abilities by yourself does not guarantee kills, and you definitely won't be getting kills so fast that it'll swing the fight in your favor quickly. You want to make sure you're playing as a unit, ideally using Discord or some other sort of voice communication until they add an in-game voice system. But at the very least, try and communicate with your team via the ping system, which you can access by pressing in your mouse wheel. Fang is a playmaker. He can't run into the enemy team forcing out cooldowns in the same way a tank like Glorgon or Skullcrusher can. He's forced to rely more heavily on his abilities, which are some of the strongest in the game. If you're struggling to land fetches, using your smoke bomb offensively first to set up a slower target is a really great way to land the ability more consistently. If, however, you see a good fetch opportunity and can land it without using your smoke bomb, using it as your fetch is ending is a great way to stop an enemy trooper from having any chance of escaping, as well as providing some additional defense for anyone on the front lines with yourself giving your team even more opportunity to capitalize on the play you made. The four passives available for Fang in the in-match store are Berserker's Rage, losing 15% of your total HP within 1.5 seconds or falling below 20% max HP, grants a 15% damage increase and 30% reduction to damage taken for 10 seconds. This effect cannot proc for 20 seconds after ending. Indignant, when affected by hard CC, Gain a 25% damage increase for 6 seconds. This cannot occur more than once every 10 seconds. Mitigate Foes. When two or more enemies are within 15 meters of you for 5 seconds, gain a 12% damage reduction for 10 seconds. Cannot proc more than every 25 seconds. Rear Guard. When out of combat for 5 seconds, gain 20% move speed. This is cancelled when re-entering combat. Personally, when I'm buying passives from the in-match store, I like to settle on Berserker's Rage and Mitigate Foes. Honestly, for the price difference between them and Rearguard or Indignant, I just find it worth saving up the extra 250 uh, in-game currency in order to get the more expensive ones right away, but there definitely is an argument for Rearguard as well. Remember, with Fang, it's not about lighting up the scoreboard, even though sometimes you get to do just that. It's about getting key picks at critical moments in the fight to give your team the edge it needs. In the Fang vs Fang battle, it's really important to land your abilities more effectively than the enemy team does, otherwise it's going to be over for you fast. Any key pointers that I missed, leave them in the comments section below. As always, thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on if you want to keep up with the latest Super Squad content. Till next time, this is Bloomer, and I'll see you on the battlefield.